Hi guys, um, I'm Allie and we're here for another hour-long power flow. Today I'm going to teach the journey into power sequence, which is the baseline or the skeleton sequence that we use at Yoga Habit for our power flow classes. So some of you may have taken this sequence um, or something very, very, very similar to it um, before. And one of the reasons why I like teaching and practicing um, to journey into power is because you know what's coming next. And that gives us the ability to concentrate on other things. So it takes out, at least for me, the thinking of what comes next. Am I doing this right? And I know where to put my feet and I might have an idea of what's coming next so I can really concentrate on my breath or my drishti or using my core or pressing my feet into the floor. So um, use this practice to... Um, really work on something that you want to improve in your practice because you you probably will know what's coming next and, and that's not a bad thing. It actually can be a really good thing. And the last thing I'll say before we get started on the same note is that right now while we're stuck at home, we don't really know what's gonna happen next and there is a lot of uncertainty. And doing this class as a repetition of something you've done before, um, just tap into a feeling of comfort that it is actually predictable and it is something where you're gonna know what's coming next. And that is amazing right now. So I've been, I've been leaning on that in my yoga practice. When I start to feel bored, I shift into, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I know what I'm going to do, be doing. I don't have a lot of that in my life right now. So um, those are some, that's some information to take along with you during this class. And um, let's get started in child's pose. Settle your hips back on your heels. Walk your hands forward. Spread your fingers out wide. Deepen your breath. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath in, out through your mouth. Downward facing dog. Sink your heels towards the floor, soften your knees. Step to the top of your mat, separate your feet, hips with distance or wider, grab onto opposite elbows. And this practice is made to be linked with our breath. So I invite you to have breath as an intention and really keep that deep ujjayi breathing in and out through your nose going through this whole class. Walk your feet together, release your arms, take a halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold. Mountain pose. Bring your hands to heart center. One ohm. Mountain pose, forward fold, halfway lift, high 
think. Take a deep breath in. Shift forward, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. One breath. Lift high on your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Mountain. Pull your belly to your spine. Forward fold. Halfway lift. High in a low plank. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Soften your knees. One breath. Lift high on your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, step or float. Halfway lift. Bow. Mountain pose, press your feet into the floor, reach up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Up dog, pull your lower belly up. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Side out. Lift high on your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, step or float. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Sink your shoulders down. Pull your belly in and up. Reach up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Slide your shoulders back. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Warrior one. Ground your left heel down. Reach up. Stay for one exhale. Shift your right hip back. Breathe in, spread your fingers out wide. High to low plank, squeeze your legs in, engage your quads. Up dog, downward facing dog. Left side warrior one. Look ahead at one spot. Breathe in. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Side out. Lift high on your toes. Bend your knees. Step or float forward. Halfway lift. Bow. Mountain. Oops, chair. <laughs> Breathe in, fold, halfway lift, high to low plank, up dog, downward facing dog, right side warrior one, one breath in, reach up, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Press into your ten fingers. Slide your chest back towards your thighs. Lift high on your toes. Pull your belly in and up. Bend your knees. Step or float forward. Halfway lift. Fold, chair, fold, flat back, high to low plank, up dog, downward facing dog, right side warrior one, chaturanga, up dog, Downward facing dog, left side warrior one, 
Chaturanga. Upward facing. Downward facing back. Full breath in. Full breath out. Lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your knees back, your hip open. Take a breath in. Stay here, flip down. Take one more inhale. Right hand down, left hand up, side plank. Chatter on that. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up. Bend your knees, sack your hip open. Breathe in. Stay or flip dog. Set both feet um, at 12 o'clock if you're flipped. Side plank, left hand down, right hand up to the ceiling. Good, reach up, high to low plank, up dog, downward facing bow. Take a deep breath in, side out. Lift your right leg up, knee to nose, crescent lunge. Place your right foot between your hands lightly. Reach both arms up to the ceiling. Always an option to drop your back knee down to the floor. Pull your lower belly up, your ribs down. Hands heart center, lengthen your spine, twist to the right. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze your inner thighs together. Crescent lunge, reach back up. Warrior two, open up. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. Gaze at your front fingertips. Reverse. Side angle. Option to reach straight up or for extended side angle, take your fingers overhead. One long line from your back heel to your front fingertips. Warrior two, gaze forward, reverse, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, full breath, side out, left leg lifts up, knee to nose, crescent lunge, reach up to the ceiling, squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. Hands at heart, lengthen your spine. Twist to the left. Ease in your face. Press your feet in the floor. Option to open your arms. Crescent lunge, reach back up. Warrior two. Reverse, side angle.
Great, lengthen both side bodies. Lean your top shoulder blade back. Look up. Warrior two, keep the bend in your front knee. Reverse. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Side out. Lift high on your toes. Bend your knees. Step or float forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Sink down in your chair. Really feel your legs fire up. Pull your toes off the mat. Spread them out wide. Bring your hands to heart center. Squeeze your legs together. Twist to the right. Chair pose, rise back up. Sink even deeper. Breathe in. Hands at heart. Lengthen your spine. Twist to the left. Open your arms. Crescent, or excuse me, chair pose. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Yogi toe lock. Separate your feet. Grab your peace finger, fingers around your big toes. Let your head hang. Shift the weight forward at your toes. Be here in release. Option to move to gorilla pose, bringing your whole palms underneath your feet, toes to your wrist crease. Bend your knees a lot if that feels good. Release your feet, take a halfway lift, fold, walk your feet together, one more halfway lift, crow pose, plant your hands down, come onto your very tippy toes, bring your knees to your armpits, shift your shoulders forward. Now stay here, pull your belly in and up, maybe work on lifting one or both feet, pressing into your fingertips. Gaze forward, breathe. Take one more breath in. Chaturanga, look forward, kick back. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Flip tie on your toes, bend your knees, step or float. Halfway lift, forward fold. Mountain pose. You go on the right, bring your right arm under, and your right leg over, bend your left knee a lot. Pull your obliques into center. Mountain. You go on the left. Mountain. Eagle on the right. Squeeze your forearms together so your shoulders slide down your back. Bring your arms long by your side, lifted leg raise, pull your right knee up to hip height, flex your right foot. 
Grab onto your right knee or your right big toe. Take your right leg out to the right. Zip up your left leg. Zip up your core. Option to take your left arm out to the left. One step farther would be to take your gaze to your left thumb. Come back to center. Take a breath in. Airplane. Drop your right hip down in line with your left. Flex your foot, drive your heel back. Half moon pose, left hand down, right hand up to the ceiling. A block is a great tool to create length through your side body so you have less crunching, less collapsing in your torso. Really nice, reach up. Fold forward, feet together, halfway lift, forward fold, mountain pose. Eagle on the left, bring your left arm under, left leg over. Whoop. Set your gaze out one spot straight ahead. Lift and leg raise, left knee pulls to hip height. Option to grab your left knee, take your left knee out, right arm extends. Come back to center. Airplane. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Half moon pose, right hand down, left hand up. Stack your left thumb right over your nose. Forward fold, feet together, halfway lift. Forward fold, mountain, dancer, grab onto your right instep with your right hand. Reach your left hand straight up, start with your knees together. Kick back, reach forward. Don't dilly dally getting into the pose, something we see a lot and I'm totally guilty of doing that. <laughs> Just get right into it and breathe. And switch sides. Dance are on the left. Kick back, reach forward, release it down. Really nice. Tree on the right, bring your right foot to your inner calf or your inner thigh. Pull your belly in and up. Two more breaths. Anywhere you want to go with your arms. Maybe take your gaze up to the ceiling. Really sit down. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. Yeah, tree on the left. Two more of your deepest breaths. Mountain pose. Forward fold. Halfway lift. High low plank. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Right side triangle pose. 
straighten your front leg. Reach your right shoulder forward, your right arm forward. Drop your right hand to the outside of your right shin or to a block. Press your hips towards the left side of your mat. Slide your right shoulder blade back. Wide leg forward fold. Walk your hands through your feet. Take a half play lift. Stay for the breath out. Rise all the way up. Step your feet forward, back foot halfway up the mat. Slide your right hip back, left hip forward. Reach up. Fold. Pyramid pose. Not sure if I said that. <laughs> Drive your hips to the back of the mat. I like to use a block under my hands. You can also bring a bend into your knees. Twisting triangle, press your left hand down. Keep a flat back, reach your right arm up. Press in both feet, even. And drop your right hand down, step your left foot to meet your right, halfway lift, forward fold, mountain pose, fold forward, halfway lift, high to low plank, up dog, downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, triangle pose. Spread your fingers out really wide. Slide your shoulder blades together. Rise all the way up. Wide leg forward fold. If you want to take a different stance, wider um, stance or narrower stance, go for that. If you want to interlace your hands at your lower back as you fold, you can do that. Take a halfway lift. Breathe all the way out. Rise all the way up. Pyramid pose. You want your feet six inches or wider. Step your back foot halfway up the mat and fold over your front foot. Pyramid. Excuse me, twisting triangle. Press into your right hand, lift your left hand up. Pull your belly in, one more breath. Fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. One more halfway. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Lift high on your toes. Bend your knees. Come straight through to boat pose. I'll come onto a seat. Lift your heels up. Lift your chest up. Arms out long. Take a breath in. Exhale. Lift your heels a little higher. Slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Bring your knees to 90 degrees. Hands behind your ears. Lift your chest. Pin your belly down towards your spine. Take a breath in. Bicycles.
Really hover your extended heel. Pull your belly down as you twist. Exhale as you twist as well. For today, as fast or as slow as you want, just as long as you feel like you're getting the work in, really pushing the edge. Come back to center, arms long by your side, flex your feet, lift your heels straight up to the ceiling. Take a breath in, I'm off my mat. <laughs> Lower your right heel down, scissor legs, lower your left heel down. Lift, right heel, left heel. If you want to power this up, lift your chest, look at your toes. Both legs up, lower down 30 degrees. Breathe in, another 30 lower. Hover your heels, look at your toes. One more time, lift up, lower, breathe in, lower, breathe in, hover, stay here, breathe in, breathe out, lower all the way down. Take a full body stretch, pull your knees into your chest, take a few rock and rolls and come back to downward facing dog. High plank, slowly lower all the way down. If you wanna drop down to your knees, go for that. Bring one cheek to the mat. Come back to something you wanted to get out of this practice, or maybe when I was explaining um, before class, you know, how you can concentrate on other aspects besides just the poses and what comes next. Maybe come back to something you thought about then and recommit to whatever that was. Even if you haven't noticed it through the class or, you know, you it just, it doesn't matter what's happened already. From right now, you can always start fresh, refocus, set your gaze, and focus on one part of the body really engaging for the rest of the practice, or even just this one next pose. Bring your arms long by your side. Locust, pull your chest up, pull your legs up. Lower down. Breathe in, fly out, interlace your hands at your back, locust, lift up, lower down, breathe in, breathe out, upward facing dog, Downward facing dog. Take a full inhale. Release. Drop down onto your knees. You're going to take camel pose. You can bring a block underneath your, or in between your thighs. That's how I like to take camel. So you're going to bring your hips right over your knees. Bring your hands to your lower back like you're sliding your hands in a jean pocket, squeeze your shoulder blades together and really keep your lower belly pulling up and in. Just gonna drop your head back. I would suggest moving really slow to start, especially if you've never done this pose before. And breathe. Lift your chest, set your hips back towards your heels. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. One more camel pose. Lift up. This time, if you feel open enough, and again, I would say really don't push it, 
You can grab onto your ankles as you go back. I'm not gonna take that variation. Squeeze your legs together like you're squeezing a block or squeeze into your block if you have one. Lean your chest back. Keep that length through your lower back. And lower all the way down. Take a breath. Remove your block if you have it. Swing your feet around, come right into bridge pose. Press down through your feet, lift your hips up. One more deep breath in, lower down. We're gonna move through two more back bends. Keep your back flat on the back, on the mats. Rock your knees side to side. Come back up, bridge pose. Press your triceps into the floor. Use your hips to lift. One more big breath in. Lower all the way down. Inhale. Side out. One more bridge or wheel pose. Go for it. Lift up. Press your shoulders into the floor. Drive your heels into the mat. Two more breaths. If you're in wheel, straighten your arms as much as you can. Lower all the way down to the floor. Soup to Baddha Konasana. Bring the bottoms of your feet together, knees out wide. One hand onto your heart, one hand onto your belly. Happy baby pose. <sighs> Downward facing dog. If you want to move through vinyasa, high heel plank, go for that. Half pigeon on the right. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Drop your right hip down. Lower all the way. Oop. You can bring a block underneath your chest or a block underneath your right hip. Slowly rise up. Take half pigeon on the left, switch sides. Really tap into your breath. Breathing even deeper. Sending the breath all the way down to your belly. Sending the breath all the way down to your left hip.
ease full breath. all the way up. Double pigeons. You're going to take your right leg, bring it all the way around. Bring your left foot forward like you're going to sit crisscross legs, but bring your um, left shin parallel to the top of your mat. And then you're going to stack your right foot on top of your left knee. Now, some of you, your legs might just go flat together. That is not accessible for me. I need a block here to hold my right knee up. And you're just going to lean forward. If you can access a full forward fold here, great. And if you're like me, like one inch forward is as far as we're going to go. <laughs> That's totally fine too. I want you to flex both feet. come back up. We're just going to switch legs. So you're going to bring your right leg underneath your left leg. And if this feels super uncomfortable, if you have any pain, especially in your knees, just skip this pose. You can bring your feet together like a butterfly and just lean forward or just do a seated forward fold. Two more breaths. Come all the way up. We're going to take frog pose. Take the sides of your mat and roll them in. You're going to turn um, to face the left side of your mat like I'm doing. If you want even more cushioning, you can roll like this. You're going to bring your knees out really wide on the mat, as wide as you can get them. And put your toes towards the top of your mat and the back of your mat. You want 90 degrees in your ankles, so your foot's flex, 90 degrees in your knee, and um, 90 degrees in your hip. And then you're just going to walk your whole chest forward. So I might be out of the screen for this, but hopefully you can see my legs. And you can bring a block underneath your chest if that feels good. Really soft way down. This, this pose is supposed to be uncomfortable, and your job is just to breathe through the discomfort. We're going to stay for four more deep breaths. That's it. Slowly make your way back up, pressing your hands down, walking your knees in, unroll your mat. Take a seat on your mat, extend both legs in front of you, flex both feet, you can bring a bend into your knees, reach up, seated, forward fold.
rise up. Pull your left leg to the inside of your right quad and um, single leg forward fold. up and switch side um, left leg extends seated single leg for fold Come back, reverse tabletop, plant your feet down, plant your hands down, lift your hips up, drop your head back. Take a breath in. Fish pose, extend your legs out long. Bring your hands underneath your lower back, shoulders over your elbows, puff up your chest, drop your head back. Take three clearing breaths. shoulder stand or headstand go for that I'm gonna suggest waterfall with a block or a pillow underneath your lower back heels stacked over your hips arms out long I know I've said this before in class but gratitude is something that um, Personally, it means a lot to my yoga practice off the yoga mat or my mental yoga practice. I recently read a quote that said, there's no joy without gratitude. And it's scientifically proven that gratitude combats anxiety, doesn't cure it, but combats it. So I invite you to count on your toes 10 things that you're grateful. Slowly release your legs down, remove your block, hug your knees in, and let them fall to the right. Take your gaze to the left, supine twist. back to center and send your gaze, or excuse me, supine twist to the left, gaze to the right. back to center, soup to bottom and bring the bottoms of your feet together, knees out wide. 
One hand onto your heart, one hand onto your belly. Close your eyes. Shavasana. I encourage you to stay for the whole Shavasana. Really until the final namaste, just stay here. Give your body time to rest. Let the practice sink in. And this pause is very intentional. It's super beneficial for your mind, your body. So let yourself be in ease and stillness. Begin to deepen your breath. Bring some movement into your fingers and your toes. Pull your knees into your chest. Make your way to your right side. Come up to seated with your hands at heart center. Take a deep breath in. Release. One out. Thumbs to the center of your forehead, honoring ourselves and each other. We bow forward and say namaste. Great job, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed that class. It was not perfect by any means. <laughs> I noticed that while we're moving through it. But what is perfect by any means? Um, I encourage you to really embrace the repetition, especially if you're doing these YouTube classes. Pick one that you really like. Do it three or four times. 
see what you discover that you maybe didn't um, notice the first time or focus on one part of your practice and really um, set an intention and stick with it. I hope you're enjoying your home practice and as always I can't wait to be back with you in the studio. Have a great day!